Hello, this is Steve Shaw for AcrylicPouring.com, and I have a treat for you today. Today I'm going to do a spring pour, but I'm not going to do just a regular spring pour. I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five, six bright spring colors, and I'm going to do a swipe. But not just one swipe. Today's kind of a two for one. Um, I'm always curious about how swipes are going to turn out, and I'm always torn between whether I should do a black swipe or a white swipe. So my plan today is to kind of do a comparison. So I'm going to put a bunch of bright spring colors on my canvas, and then I'm going to do a swipe using white paint, and then I've got a second canvas, and I'm going to put black across that one and do a black swipe. And we'll see how the two different paintings compare, how they look, and at the end of the video, I'll be sure to post uh, two different pictures with them side by side so we can see how the uh, the two spring swipes look with the dark color black swipe compared to the white. So let's get started. I have already mixed up several colors. Again, a bunch of bright, kind of happy, sassy colors. Um, they're all apple barrel colors. And I have mixed in with them a little bit of uh, the Zinser Paint Booster. Uh, some people use Floetrol. Uh, I prefer to use the uh, the paints like the Apple Barrel that already have some water or some whatever their mix is with the paint. And then I'll add a little bit of the Paint Booster instead of a lot of Floetrol to get them to the consistency that I want. But I have a nice uh, orange. I think it's actually called a papaya orange. A nice spring green. A juicy, juicy red. A nice dark, rich blue bright spring yellow, and a nice purple, light kind of purple. And I will list at the uh, under the video all these actual colors that I use. And I also, like I said, will be swiping one with black, and then I'll swipe another one with the white. So let me move these out of the way. I am gonna add a little bit of silicone to these. Uh, I have been using the three-in-one silicone, and I'm gonna put just a little shot at the top of each of these. Okay, there we go. Gonna do a little slight swirl in each one. When I do the second pour, I will probably add a little bit more of the uh, silicone, just because I think the silicone, I haven't done a really deep, deep, rich uh, swirl in, so it's probably a little bit more on the top than the bottom. So, no really huge uh, plan as far as the design goes, so I'm going to move these colors to the edge, and then we'll just kind of randomly pour them out on my 16 by 20 canvas, and I'm going to start with layer red, maybe a couple little runs of red here. So three, save the rest for the next pour. Oh, this is crazy. I'm gonna do a little, I gotta remember this to try to do something similar for the next pour, but a little crisscross action here. Beautiful green, I love this green. It's just yummy. And it's pretty light. Purple. Let's get this up in the corners. Leaving this area down here for my swipe color. All right, and some blue. This blue is going to go into several places here. Kind of, I'm going to use the blue to fill in. Okay, I'm going to do what I've seen some folks do in the other videos. When you have some, these white patches, of course, are areas with no paint. So I'm just going to take a moment and just spread a little bit of this paint around so I know I have coverage on my canvas. Hope that 
doesn't interfere with the pattern too much after we do the swipe. Okay. Pick this up, make sure it's kind of level in here. All right, what should we do first? White swipe or black swipe? Let's do the white swipe first. Uh, white does not have any silicone in it at all, and it's titanium white, pretty thick. And we'll give it a nice thick run across here, which I'm not sure if that'll end up being the top or the bottom of the painting. But I'll load it up. Okay. Maybe a little bit more at the top. Oh, I'm going to just put a little edge on here. Nice thing about acrylic pouring, there's no right or wrong way to do it, just different ways. So don't get too hung up on the details. Okay. To do my swipe, I just have a, um, a kind of a rubber swiping tool that I actually got free from a clay place. So, colors are here. Uh, really bright, not something I would normally do, but that's kind of fun. I'm going to lightly do a, a run across the painting, and I'll take a paper towel and wipe off the excess, and we'll do a couple of runs coming through. So, let's see what we get. I like this better. Ooh, that's pretty. Wiped a little too much at the top here. thought the white would have pulled a lot more through there. Um, it's not, but that's okay. It's really pretty. Let's see if I can get a little bit. I'm going to need to fill this in a little bit more up here, I think. That's bugging me. <clears throat> All right, so this is what we have right now. It looks good. <clears throat> I'm not sure. I'm totally crazy about it. I've got some good cells in here, though. Let's work this a little bit just to see what happens. Going to move that white down. Back and forth. Okay. All right, so this is what we have. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, not totally crazy about that. All right, I've got my push pins on the bottom. Um, it's pretty good coverage on the side. I'll probably come back and smooth that out, but let's move this one to the side and I'll bring out my second canvas. And I'll wipe the bottom of this off into my, into my paint box. Okay, second canvas is here and ready to go. Again, another 16 by 20 canvas. Let's do the same steps that we did before. I'm gonna go with some red. Okay, go ahead and use that red up. I will put a couple of drops of silicone in my paints. And there's that. Oh. And I'm going to add some orange. Yeah, going to put some orange on here. Got, I'm going to add some green. A lot of green in there. Oh, that got really thick on there. All right, let's see. I've got some yellow left and some of that purple left. I'm going to start filling in a little bit with those. 
Oh, and I've got some blue in there too. So good, we still have some. something in my paint. Purple. And finally the dark blue. There are any little holes in here. All right. <clears throat> Seems to be a kind of a Looks like a good bit more color on this. All right, so I'll swoosh it around a little bit, see if we can fill in some. Very bright, holy cow, that's bright. It's pretty though. All right, black swipe time. Dun, 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 dun. Again, uh, this is just good old regular black. No silicone in there. They could put a little shot of the um, Zinsser paint booster to kind of help it hold together so when it dries, less likely to, to craze or crack. We'll pour a bunch of this across the bottom. I'm gonna go a little heavier with the black, uh, or more more of the black than I did with that white, because I wanted to carry through the painting a little more, a little farther. So I'm just gonna dump that on there. All right, let's see what happens. All right, swipe time. Pressing a little bit harder. That corner again, like I did before. Wow, some really cool action pulling through right there. I know I'm pulling the wrong direction. This one, um, this has got a lot more going on. That black, I think, being heavier in there makes a big difference. We're gonna mush it around a little bit, but this, I'm already liking this a lot better than the other one. That, it just looks more, it just looks more dramatic to me. One thing I forgot to do with the other painting, but it's not too late, is, um, Let's hit this with a torch and see what happens. How could I forget the torch last time? All right, I'm well, gonna wipe off my hands a little bit. Got a good view of that in there. We will torch this thing and see what comes up. Always be careful with your torch. Make sure there's nothing in the general area that you can set on fire. Oh, wow, did you see that just pop through right there? Beautiful. Oh man, this, this is working for me. That was gorgeous, it just happened to there. I'm gonna hit this thick black a little more. Ooh. Wow, okay, for me, there is no comparison right there. This is so much better than the other one. All right, I'm gonna, let it ooze down here a little bit because I still have some areas up here that need some color. But guys, look at that. That is just beautiful. All right, so to keep things fair, I'm gonna pull the other painting back, hit it with a torch, and then we'll have the final comparison. But right now, I'm just looking at these beautiful cells up in here and all up in here. The colors on this just look fantastic. All right, but let's give the other one a shot. All right, original spring painting. Let's hit you with a torch and see if I like you any better. That was really pretty up in there. Let's get up closer in here.
All right, I know everybody's tastes are different, but um, I do think that helped. But between the two, for me, there's really no comparison. The black swipe looks so much better than the white swipe. But in any case, I will let you decide. Thank you for watching my spring pour. Um, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you like the content of the video, please hit subscribe. And like most of my paintings that you see in my videos, pretty much all of them are gonna be for sale in my Etsy store. So go to etsy.com and do a search for Steve Shaw and you'll find them all there, very reasonably priced with free shipping. All right, thanks you guys, have a great day, bye.